All right. In this last example, we're just going to look at what these transformations do to the domain and range, right? We don't even know what the function is. We have some function g of x, and the domain is um, is x is between negative 2 and 7, and the range is, is um, from 100 to 200, okay? So um, we are given the function g of x plus 2 minus 150, right? So this is... Um, this is being transformed to the left, right? The left by 2 and down by 150. Okay, that's what those transformations are going to do to that function. So um, let's first of all look at the domain. All right, now I know the input to the function right? This g of x function is only defined for x values between negative 2 and 7, all right? But now the input to the function is x plus 2. So x plus 2 has to be between um, negative 2 and 7, all right? Now this is a compound inequality. I can just add or subtract. In this case, I'm going to subtract 2 from all sides, right? This is really representing two inequalities all in one. But I can just add, or sub sorry, subtract two from everything. Subtract two everywhere. So I end up with minus four is um, less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to five. All right. So the domain now is, is x is between negative four and five. All right. So all we did was, to, you know, that we know that the new input is x plus 2, but still g of x is, is only defined for inputs between negative 2 and 7. All right, so let's look at the range. <clears throat> oh, and I should say, too, you can see that uh, what we did is we shifted it to the left. We shifted the domain to the left, so um, by 2, right? So, um, so you can think of it that way as well. So let's look at the range now. All right, so we have g of x um, plus 2 minus 150, all right? And it's going to be between some values. And so we know that the, the output of g of x is, is between 100 and um, 200, right? So this is going to be between um, 100 to... 200, right? And then we're subtracting 150 from it, right? So if we subtract 150 from the low end, we get a minus 50. And if we subtract 150 from the high end, we get 50, all right? So the range of this new function is between minus 50 and 50, all right? So all we did was take the range of the um, original g of x function and shift it down by 50, right? So this is going, is going down, down 50, or sorry, down 150, right? We went down 150. Um, so we just subtracted 150 from the range of g of x, all right? So to summarize what we just did, because this new function g of x plus 2 minus 150 is shifted um, to the left by 2 and down by 50, we took the domain and shifted it to the left by, by, by 2, right? And we shifted the range down by 150, all right? So that's all I have for you, uh, and I'll see you in class.